We're probably going to have to start with um, Lucas, if anyone, because they'll have a call in 10 minutes okay. or so. Exactly. Um, only thing that I've got to really say to start the day is um, we're going to be having a few more people leading these calls. And um, we're also going to have European morning calls as well. With Orgali's going to start some of them as well. So they're going to be on 10 a.m. CET time. So um, like a nearly 12 hours from this sort of time of day. Eight, like 10 hours before now. Um, she wanted to make sure people do that in case people prefer that sort of call time. It depends on where you are in the world, obviously. Um, Art has talked, well, got something about collab corona org is live. Not even sure what that is. Um, yeah, it, it's basically, uh, you know, the Google Collab or like the Kaggle notebooks. We now have our own thing with much more resources. So if anyone needs something that can be used in Google Collab or Kaggle notebook in case of limitations in terms of uh, memory or uh, computing power, they can use our own. But you need to request uh, the password token from us. Okay. Um, we don't, I, well, I don't have much to give right now. Um, so we'll start with Lucas because they're going to be probably having to slink, yep. slink off first. Um, so yeah, wh what's going on? Uh, have you got any blockers? If you need any help? Yeah, actually, no blockers. Uh, we are almost done with, I think, almost in the sense that in two days it should be everything fine with it, uh, with uh, the um, Jupyter Notebook pipelines for V12 in three versions for sentences, sections, levels, and entire documents. And we are going to uh, to produce those data. I mean, like we have, we have almost the notebooks and then we need a couple of hours for each to produce the data. So that's, that's all. That's and then the, we- That's for the, is that for new data sets? Yeah, exactly, v, V12, data so, yeah, so-called V12. V12, yeah. And then we are going over to uh, semantic, Elasticsearch, semantic search for the, for this new data set, so. Okay, um, so no blockers, everything's coming along? No. Um, have you, um, have you got any requests or anything you need? No, no. I mean, we are quite content with what we have now. Good, good, good. Well, we'll, we'll move on to, to Dan and Team VT because he's here. Hey guys, uh, a couple of updates. Yesterday we talked to Dr. Betty Korber, uh, who is a virologist, and we kind of showed her some of the stuff that Corona Y has been doing, and we asked about the stuff that they're working on. She was excited about the projects that we were talking about, so it was a really good conversation. Um, she she wanted links to our tools, to like the yeah the tools that we had made for the Kaggle notebooks, just to kind of play around with them a little bit because um, she said they looked really nice. And then she just said, as we make more progress, we're making this kind of like. Uh, mutations annotation dashboard for viral genome for the viral genome just to send her updates about that and then she'll be happy to promote stuff on her website and kind of keep chatting with us as we make more progress so that, that was a really good call really exciting um, today they I'm presenting some VT stuff at this Boston data science uh, meeting that I was invited to by Isaac Godfrey so just going to present you know some of the projects that we're thinking about um, and that's going to be in a few hours, so I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, another update is that we are going to start applying for this Twitter uh, COVID-19 uh, API endpoint, which it allows us to get tweets without being rate limited like we are currently, which is kind of prohibitive. So uh, we just have to put together a little application on behalf of CoronaY. So I'm going to talk with Slava and Anton about that later today. So would that give us not necessarily an unlimited, but a much faster pipeline for Potentially, pulling, yeah. put, pulling data down and, and hydrating it, as I understand it now? Yeah, I think it should be able there to do everything. was something I needed to do for that task, right? Um, I have no action item for you for that right now. But maybe there was another thing that you were thinking of. Mm, okay. 
That's all. Oh, I remember. Okay, I needed to send the alt metric stuff to Ali. The oh yeah, thing. please do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Arthur, Arthur, you did you did send the alt metric stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, nice. I, I did. Yeah, I did. I did go through it. Um, now, now, uh, what what uh, was the first impression is that um, in addition to the tweets not being complete, uh, uh, the uh, the thread against which a tweet is uh, is tweeted is not clear. So it's it's, it's uh, like for example the the uh, the link that you shared um, it uh, has as much as uh, three uh, thousand plus tweets on a single paper. This basically implies that all the threads uh, against which the tweets have been uh, have been tweeted are are there too. But we are unaware uh, that uh, under which thread a certain tweet has been tweeted. So just a quick summary: Will we use the alt metric data or or not for like sentiment or something? Uh, uh, they do. They do have the API too, so I shall be exploring that uh, today. Mm, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dan uh, did share uh, two uh, uh, resources. One is EE, -E and the other is a there is a research article. I shall be going through that too. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that will help you. I mean, well, as, as Dan indicated, uh, they're working on an application to get uh, the COVID stream. Uh, that that is what uh, what we want actually, because there is no no limit to the extraction. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep notes of the things that you guys are talking about. Um, so have we got anybody else from any other teams to, so we no Christine, we've got no Maya. Kevin, have you got anything to bring, anything to say, or what you're working on? Uh, nothing on my side. I just having trouble with the V12 uh, pre-processing, but I just might be the limitation of my computer, but um, I'll see what I can get through. Um, hi Maya, how are you doing? Hi, not Sorry good. Sorry for the late call. Not, not good, what's up? Sorry? You said not good. I said, why, it's up. Yeah, everything is good. Okay, well, we've, we've come around to you. Um, have you got anything for risk, team risk to say? Other than you needing annotation help still. I'm sorry, for some reason I can't hear you clearly. Was that addressed to me? I really apologize. Sorry, I'll uh, talk a little closer, make it a little easier. Um, yes, we'll, we've got around to you, so is um anything you need to we say? We don't have any, any, significant, any significant updates since uh, yesterday, no. Okay, nothing significant. That's fine. Right. I think that's, I don't know, has anybody got any questions or anything they need to feel like they need to bring up? Well, if that's the case then, um, even though it was a late, late start, it looks like it's a short one today. But yeah, just for um, anybody else who's um, interested in the European side calls or if it suits your schedule a little bit easier. Is going to be we're going to be trying to host them and it'll all, all the information will still go into the same document so it's a way of like putting you putting your side across you know, thank you very much for your time again guys and uh speak to you all tomorrow all right thanks guys bye bye yeah we're on.